Welcome to the DevOps Library. We're glad you found yourself here. This is Samantha, and in this episode, we're going to cover CloudBees Jenkins Analytics, or CJA for short. While it may not be necessary for smaller environments, Jenkins Analytics is awesome once you start trying to scale. It'll help you answer questions such as, why is my Jenkins master running slowly? Or, how fast are our jobs running? It's also pretty easy to configure. But before we get started, We'd like to give a quick shout out to Hired.com for being kind enough to sponsor our Jenkins course. If you aren't familiar with Hired, it's a great company that completely reverses the traditional job search by having companies apply to you instead of you always doing the tedious work of applying. Thousands of companies look to Hired to connect with the best of the best in our field, like you. Oh, and if you do end up signing up through our personal link and landing a new job, Hired will give you a $2,000 bonus for being a loyal supporter of the DevOps library. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to need to set up a Jenkins Operations Center. If you've been following along already, you should already be good to go. But if not, don't worry. Just watch our last episode here. Or you can sign up for a trial at cloudbees.com. Once that's set up, go to Manage Jenkins, followed by Configure Analytics. On this page, we need to tell Jenkins where to store our analytics data. While you do have the option of using an embedded form of Elasticsearch, it doesn't work that well, even for test instances. Because of that, we're going to set up a remote Elasticsearch instance. First, spin up a new Ubuntu 14.04 server. Once it comes up, install Java JDK 8 by running the following commands. Next, let's install Elasticsearch. Let's run the following commands to install version 1.7.4. While you can use a newer version of Elasticsearch, 1.7.4 is the version CloudBees recommends, and we did run into issues on some of the newer releases. Lastly, once Elasticsearch finishes installing, we need to allow remote connections to Elasticsearch. Open up Etsy slash Elasticsearch slash Elasticsearch.yaml. Add network.host colon 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Then save and close the file. Now run service Elasticsearch start. Then switch back to our Jenkins operations server. Click the Elasticsearch configuration dropdown and select Remote Elasticsearch Instance. For the URL, type http colon slash slash, followed by the IP of our Elasticsearch instance, colon 9200. Then click Test Connection. All right, perfect, there we go. Now scroll down a bit and select Enable under the Analytics Reporting Configuration. For the reporting endpoint, paste in the URL to our Jenkins Operations Center, followed by slash feeder, then hit Save. Now we need to enable analytics reporting on our individual masters. On each master, go to Manage Jenkins, Configure Analytics, then select Enable. The reporting endpoint is the same as what we used earlier, the URL to our operations center, followed by slash feeder. Now just hit save. Great job! We've finally finished setting up Jenkins Analytics. Now go ahead and kick off some jobs to generate some data. Once the jobs finish running, switch to the CJOC and click the Build Analytics tab. At this point, feel free to wander around and see what information might be useful for your team. Let's go ahead and go through a few examples to get you started. What if we'd like to know what jobs are taking the longest to run? Click the Node Performance tab. On the right, we can see that Slow Job is by far our slowest running job. And if we scroll down, we can also see the average duration of the top 10 longest running jobs. Or maybe someone is complaining about the performance of one of our Jenkins masters. If you go to the Performance Analytics tab, we can easily see how much CPU, memory, and executors are in use on each master. It's really cool, isn't it? Well, that's it for our lesson on Jenkins Analytics. Great job following along. If you'd like to make more advanced dashboards, you can use the Analytics Dashboard Creator to make pretty much anything you'd like. It just takes some experience with Kibana. Again, we'd like to give a really special shout out to Hired for sponsoring this course. If you're into DevOps, there's a pretty good chance you've had to deal with pushy recruiters and countless emails as well as possibly spent many hours searching for DevOps opportunities. 
The reason we love using Hired is that it completely reverses the situation and puts the power back in your hands by having companies send you interview requests that you can choose to pursue. They even come with upfront salary and equity. By having you fill out information that is specific to what you're looking for and your individual strengths and talents, it ensures that the only companies you'll hear from will be a great fit for you. Plus, Hired is entirely free, and they're even going to give you a $2,000 bonus after you land a job using our own DevOps library link. We highly recommend giving them a shot. They do a fantastic job, especially for our DevOps community. All right, thanks again for watching today, and if you like our videos, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you love them and want to help support us, visit patreon.com slash DevOps library. We'll even list you on our high scores list at the end of each video. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.